Hey guys, I'm doing a little video today to show you what uh, emulation looks like on for Zemu uh, for the original Xbox on PC. Um, my specs are Ryzen 7 7700X and I'm using a uh, 7800 XT. So we'll get right into it. This has um, st uh, controller support for the real controller. Um, through pass through, but I'm just going to be loading a replay just to see what sort of um, performance we get. So. Alright, um, so I guess we're going to replay. Uh, do something, let's see what map. So the game does crack out on the Xbox at 20 frames per second, um, which it looks like it's stably getting around 20. There are some audio issues, and I think um, some graphical issues too. It's not 100% yet, but we're getting really close on what PC emulation can do for the original Xbox, and now that you know works with Steel Battalion, find the contact. Gonna turn that down that volume a little bit because it is a bit loud. But yeah, as you can see, it's getting like it's pretty stable even in combat.
But yeah, I'll have to do some more tests on different maps and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, this does seem like very playable at this stage. It's still not perfect yet. Zemu can crash and the way that line of contact works, if like one person exits the game, it could, uh, you know, just randomly drop other people at the same time. So I still wouldn't say that emulators are like 100% the way to go, but it's looking very promising. I did pick this map because there's a lot going on with this map in terms of like geometry, it's all pretty dark and a few walls, it's all straight, uh, you know, flat terrain, all that sort of stuff, so I thought this was like a good way to test on one of like the lower shit happening maps, that, how good the performance is, I might have to do another test on another map that's a bit more things going on, but at least this is a good start. Yeah, so this is using uh, yeah the Vulkan API um, and the control libraries for USB pass through. I believe this will work with your actual Steel Battalion controller if you plug it in via the USB through an adapter. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty pretty happy with this performance, the way it is. It's definitely, you know, like on the on the actual Xbox, it's uh, this game is locked at 20. It doesn't dip below 20, so this is definitely like nearly there. But you do need a pretty good computer um, to run this emulator at a stable frame rate or whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm using a. Ryzen 7 7700X uh, CPU and I've got a uh, 7800XT GPU so... 
we have tested this on lower hardware and it's not as good but I'd still recommend getting an original Xbox to play this game over an emulator for now anyway until it gets a bit more optimized and it gets a bit better but I mean yeah it's a good starting point Alright, well this uh, match is pretty much over. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video on uh, the way emulation is. We'll do some more tests uh, and keep updating you guys on how performance gets uh, the more builds that we get of this emulator. So, this is running on Zemu. Um, and, yeah. I don't know if I mentioned it, but yeah, this is running the uh, Vulcan API in Zemu, which is their latest build. So, hope you guys liked that demonstration for now. Um, I don't know when I'll upload this, but yeah, it's just a little show and tell. So, alright, catch you on the next one.